Hey, Rachel, how's it going? Oh, hi, Siraj. <laughs> Do you mind if I can ask you 67 questions? Sure. Cool. Do you miss your undergraduate years at Swarthmore? Yes. You got a PhD in math from Duke. How was that experience? It was pretty miserable. What is something you miss about where you grew up? Um, my friends and family and delicious food. Do you need a PhD to do machine learning research? Absolutely not. What excites you the most about machine learning? Um, I just think all the real world problems it can solve. It's really powerful. What was it like working at Uber in the early days? <laughs> it, was, it was pretty chaotic. What was the funnest part about working at Uber? Um, I think it was, it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And it was a really interesting data set to have all the GPS data. What website do you absolutely love to spend time on? Um, I guess Twitter. Well, I, I love hate. <laughs> what country do you believe will contribute the most to ML in the next decade? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think a lot of countries will. Hey, Rachel, what time do you wake up? Uh, usually around 8 a.m. <laughs> Favorite machine learning paper of 2018? Um, I think Leslie Smith's One Cycle. I also like Timnit Gebru's data sheets for data sets. If you could meet one person, who would it be? Uh, Zainab Tefekti. What do you do to relax? Um, like yoga and playing with my daughter. What's it like doing research as a full-time job? Um, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy uh, kind of like the creativity and flexibility I have. What's Fast.ai's mission in your own words? Um, we're trying to make deep learning easier to use for people that don't, can't afford expensive computers and might not have giant data sets and are kind of all around the world and from different backgrounds. What's your working dynamic like with Jeremy Howard? Um, it's really great. We're just kind of totally on the same page and have very similar values. What's a Fast.ai achievement you feel the most proud of? Um, I'm really proud of our courses and just our students' successes and kind of all the companies they've launched and the projects they've, they've completed. Bravest thing you've ever done? Uh, I think uh, finish, finishing my PhD in the, in the face of kind of a lot of uncertainty and obstacles. Why are there so few women in machine learning? <laughs> this is a big question. I think there's a lot of, um, there's some toxicity in the field and a lot of related fields of math and computer science. What is one thing that scares you? Um, I think our current political situation. Favorite movie? Uh, Clue. Do you play any instruments? No, I don't. Best present you've ever received? My daughter. What is something you do to relax? <laughs> uh, yoga and playing with my daughter. What is something surprising about you? Um, I guess that I grew up in Texas. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. What's a machine learning model that doesn't get enough attention? Random forest. Favorite project you used to work on? I guess my, my computational linear algebra class was a lot of fun. If you could repeat one experience again, what would it be? Uh, the month I spent in Japan. Why do you think deep learning has gotten so popular recently? Uh, it's, really, it's really useful. What is your favorite operating system? I don't have a strong preference. Most adventurous thing you've ever done? I guess, uh, Switching into tech and moving to San Francisco, getting rid of everything I owned when I didn't move, know anybody out here. What's one resource you use to stay up to date in machine learning? Twitter. Programming language of choice for machine learning? Python. Favorite professor? Uh, Jay Talvakia and Cheryl Grood from Swarthmore's math department. Why do you think programming is fun? Um, it's really fun to create things. It's neat to have the power to build stuff. What's the most amazing thing in the world? <laughs> uh, that's a huge question. I, I think friendship and family. Favorite comfort food? Favorite comfort food? Maybe ginger chicken and rice. What was your first program? My, my first program that I remember was we had to output how much interest you would pay on a credit card, just like output it to the terminal. You get an all-expenses-paid trip to one country. Where do you go? 
I'd like to go to Malaysia. Would you live on Mars? I'm not sure. I would visit. What is one thing you can't live without? Um, a high-quality pillow. What is one skill you wish you had? Better negotiation skills. What text editor do you use? Vim. What open source library do you really like? PyTorch and the FastAI library. What was a hard problem you recently solved? Um, dealing with brain surgery. What's the meaning of life? Um, I think to, to love the people around you and to try to have a positive impact. What is one piece of advice you'd give yourself 10 years ago? Um, it's, okay, it's okay to be happy now. Do you spend more time on the internet or real life? Might be close. Maybe real life. What's something you've learned in the past month? Um, yeah, I've been learning a lot more about uh, ethical issues and kind of disinformation and propaganda. Do you like spicy food? Yes. What is a movie that made you cry? Big Hero 6. If you ran the world, what is one law you'd enact? Um, universal health care. Is the singularity near? No. Who is one person you looked up to when you were in college? Um, I looked up to David Eddy, who's a health care, um, evidence-based health care proponent. If you were to start from scratch today, what is the learning resource you would use to learn machine learning? I may be biased, but uh, fast AI, practical deep learning for coders. What is one goal you have in the next 10 years? I think really to kind of continue doing what I'm doing. Favorite subject in school when you were growing up? Math. If you could be a superhero, who would it be? Um, Penny from Inspector Gadget. What's your spirit animal? Maybe a squirrel. What do you predict comes next after the deep learning hype? I mean, I think the deep learning is going to keep going for a while. We still have so much potential to unlock there. Cool, Rachel. Well, thanks so much for answering these questions. Well, thank you. Cool. I'll see you around. Thanks.